learn about a new topic EFS. EFS is a elastic file system. It's created by the AWS and it's a centralized file system. It is a network file system. Means we can store data on the EFS and we can mount the EFS to Linux server only. Okay. It's suitable for only Linux. Not yeah, it's suitable only for the Linux. If I type it, so in the short term, it is a it is a centralized file system for the Linux only. Okay, so we can mount the elastic file system to the Linux machines. As you can see, elastic file system provides a simple, scalable, fully managed elastic NFS means network file system for use with AWS cloud services on premises resources. Means if we don't have a storage into in, if we don't have enough storage into the on premises or the private data center, we can use a centralized <coughs> network file system on the AWS and we can mount that as a local. Suppose we have uh, we are working in a company in that company. We have some storages issue in our company. We have some storages issue. They have some uh, low storage options, so we can use the Amazon EFS services only on the Linux machines. It will provide us the a uh, scalable and fully managed elastic file system elastic network file system we can use uh, for the data storage purposes or it will also replicate uh, it will also replicate from we can uh, we can we can use this efs on multiple resources means we create only at a once and we can use it on the multiple resources. We can mount that particular EFS on multiple servers. OK. For more, you can read it here. Elastic file system provides a simple serverless set and forget elastic file system for use with AWS on premises resources. We can use as this elastic file system as on premises resources it is built to scale on demand to petabytes without distributing means we can store large amounts of data petabytes and the terabytes level data okay now come to the efs i will show you some demo and uh, <clears throat> then it will be easy for us. OK, now we are going to create a file system here. So there is no file system right now. Just click on the create here. You have to give the name. I'm just going to give the name and I have to choose the VPC because it will launch it into a particular VPC. I can select this one. I have to uh, default VPC is that and there are two storage class into the EFS. One is standard means it's stored only in a single region. With the multiple availability zone, you can see it stores data redundantly across multiple availability zone. If we select one zone option means it will store data into a particular zone within a region. Is that clear? Yeah. OK, now we are going to choose the standard one. We have other option is that we can choose the particular zones. If we choose that one custom, we can choose the multiple things here. OK, for uh, provision and throughput, uh, we can choose the performance mode also here. OK, we will see once we have understand the what is elastic file system. OK, now everything set as default. Just click on the next. And yeah, we can select the. 
security group for that we can select the availability zone for that if i want that i want uh, this elastic file system only in in the two availability zone i can remove this subnet or i can remove any one subnet okay now just click on the next here we can define the policies now no need to define any type of policy here just simply click on the next <coughs> and just create once the file system is successfully created you can see it is a encrypted and file system id is that name is this okay if i just uh, click on that you can see the details here the size is there and size in uh, standard size in standard ia or one zone okay now just go back to the file system now let's mount this file system to different servers now i'm just going to the ec2 console <coughs> here into the ec2 console i am just going to create two servers okay i am going to create two, two servers for our testing purposes now now i'm just trying to access that server okay i will show you the difference i'm using a normal terminal here clear okay now i again open a one more terminal here new window yes okay here are the two servers okay now i'm just going to my download section and i try to access that server 1 and the server 2 <coughs> now ssh hyphen i and the username is ec2 or 1 with this ip and this is the server 2 with this ip now i'm just going to mount my efs bucket mount my efs bucket to both server and you can see the reflection on both server if i make changes on the server 1 it will automatically reflected on the server 2 is it clear yeah okay yeah now i select that one okay here we have some option to mount the efs so i select that one and go to the view details there is some details but nothing is there and we have to go to the documentation here <coughs> into the documentation here is the some steps to configure that let me mount this one <coughs> yeah these are the steps to mount efs file system on the both server so let me paste the code here it will mount the install some packages first and let me run the same command on the both server yeah once i run on the that it will install the amazon utility on that server now the 
now we are going to create one directory here on the both server so just give the directory name efs uh, or you can give any name here okay i'm just going to give the name uh, my efs here and also create one more directory into the server to mkdir my hyphen efs or you can give any name here you can also choose the different different directory on the different server okay yeah this is the command <coughs> here is a command to uh, mount that file system okay now just uh, copy that one now just copy that one and paste it on the both server okay first we have to paste on the notepad section and modify that command with according to our file system so we have to enter the id here of the file system so let's go to the efs section and here is the efs section this is the file system id we need to copy that and change it accordingly so just change it yeah yeah now it is changed now we have to also change the folder name here so this is my folder name into the file system now copy that and paste it into here just paste it command and enter it will take some time and also run that command into the server 2 <coughs> it will take some time due to the timeout okay uh, before next attempt let's wait why it is not cross check the file system id is that yeah it is the code yes it okay okay i understand the problem okay now because <coughs> efs works on the same file system efs works on the security group level okay we have defined we define uh, it to the default security group as you can see if i click on that you can see a uh, network section into the network section you can see there is some network there is default option is there okay security group is default so we have to attach our server with the default security group now just select on that one select the server okay now uh, cross let's clear all the thing clear and here i also run the clear option because it's trying to attempt code uh, our command is correct exactly okay now we have to uh, change the secure add a security group to the default one now refresh this one once again and select this one go to the action setting go to the networking and here is the security group option let me check where we can edit the security group okay if it is not is there directly here. yeah change security group option is there we can select that one option and select the security group so we can choose the default one this is the default one we can choose that and add security group now save that the same thing we have to do on the server too now select this one go to the action security chain security group and go to the scroll down it here default add security group and now save it now run the previous command that is the big mistake now we use the previous command this one is that now once i enter that you can see it will be successfully mounted on that 
it's done command is successfully run without any error now just i again run the command on that on the server 2 now i will show you the magic let's see let's go to the my efs folder cd my hyphen efs okay right now i am in the my efs <laughs> folder let's go to the same on the server to my efs okay both are the different okay this ip is different and this ip is also different both are different server now see the magic i'm just going to create one more file here okay but before i will show you there is no file is there into the server to okay i am just going to create one file here with the name test okay it will automatically reflect it to the server to i enter there and i again ls there you can see test file is there okay if i create uh, some uh, files there it will automatically replicate to the server one now let's try touch hello india okay i'm just going to create two files one name is, is hello and second name is india and also i create lot of thing okay so i create multiple files at a same time it will reflect on the server one but i will show you if i ls here there is only one file but i execute this command on the server two you will see the replication on the server one is that clear yes please. hello yeah yeah clear yeah so did you understand the concept of efs efs is a centralized file system we can store and uh, mount the file system on our on premises data center whenever we have the we whenever we have required the storage on the linux it is a uh, work as a network file system Okay. Your voice is little slow. Can you speak loudly? Yeah, fine. It's good. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Anything or any question related to that? No, it's fine. Okay. So, uh, did you try for the 